kill me some up. Man, I can't teach you guys in this room conditions. Uh, I'm just gonna fix up my room a bit. Uh, see you back in a second, guys. And we're back, mga pirata. So, I've cleaned up my room, saw speak and span, and ready for the video. Let's roll the intro. Come to mga pirata, Leon here. And today, I'm going to teach you guys some what happened to my desktop. Okay. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to add fog or smog or mist to your images to make it look a little bit more uh, mysterious or x files here. Is, is that a word? x files here, you know the ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Never mind, I'll just overlay the x files music. Hopefully I don't get copyright stroke. Alright guys, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I will be using one of the photos I took of my back. This is like a back selfie. A back selfie. Anyways, um, we're going to use this image and I am going to teach you guys how to add fog to your images. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial, so we're going to do this as fast as we can. So what you have to do is create a new layer. You could click this thingy mobob right here on the lower right corner, create new layer. Or you could use the shortcut which is Control shift n yeah but i find it harder they call it the shortcut but it's not really a shortcut because you have to click so much things anyways create a new layer then double click the name of the layer let's make it uh, fog all right now what you have to do is press q for quick mask all right once you've pressed q go to filter um render difference clouds Okay, so once it turns red, you know that you're on the right track. Now what you have to do is press Q again, and then those red fog thingies are gonna turn into selections. Next step, press edit, fill, background color, so my background color is set to white. Press OK, and then voila, you have fog, Control D to deselect, and there you go. So looking at this image right now, the fog looks a little bit choppy. It, it actually looks really bad. So what you have to do is just control T Control T to transform the layer and then we're just gonna make this Change this to a thousand Okay, and then change it to a thousand and boom press enter Nothing happened press enter again if nothing happens guys if in doubt press enter twice and let it transform Man, it's taking so long. Come on, do it, computer. Okay. And now we have more natural looking fog or clouds. Alright, so now that you have natural looking clouds, um, the image really doesn't match the clouds. So what we are going to do is um, change the saturation a bit. Just desaturate it. Okay, so it's looking a little bit gloomy. Let's press Alt. Okay, so apply that effect to the layer. And then we're going to change the contrast so it's foggy usually when it's foggy outside it's a little bit less contrasty so i'm gonna bring the contrast way down and then maybe add a little brightness there we go and that should do it guys maybe we should erase okay we should erase a little bit fog on me because it looks a little bit thick yes all right just erase a little bit of fog reveal my awesome cap where did i put that cap i need to find that cap guys anyways okay erase a little bit more fog i'm gonna erase a little bit more fog on my feet and then there you have it guys how to add fog to your images so let's just turn that off that's the image without the fog and then boom with fog so instantly bagiotic pictures is that a word bagiotic Okay, so for those of you who, who don't know what bagiotic is, it's a, it's a word I'm coining, which means uh, something that feels like you're in Baguio. Thus, the word Baguio. And they just add the tick to make it like bagiotic. Anyways, you guys get it. So that is our quick tutorial for today, guys. I hope you learned something. And I hope you are progressing in your Photoshop skills with me. Together, we are going to make images like these. Boom! So next week or... Next episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to add these kinds of things. 
you know those the snowy effect and how to add the floating images floating island and how to add the elephant and you know just those things guys okay guys so hopefully by the end of this photoshop series that i am doing all of you guys would be able to create images so much better than this image i'm showing to you because i believe everybody out there has the potential to be creative and great especially with things like these photoshop um, you can basically do this with any computer you don't need a fancy mouse or a fancy keyboard or a fancy screen um, that's all just uh, that's all just nerdy stuff that, that I buy because uh, it's an excuse for my um, you know when you find excuses just to buy things you're like oh man this screen sucks I need a more color accurate screen but in reality your screen doesn't really have to be color accurate because the people who are going to be viewing the images that you post on Instagrams wouldn't really be viewing it on color accurate screens either they're just gonna view it on the phone so yeah you don't need any equipment or any special uh, thingamabob to create images like these uh, maybe a graphics tablet would help a little but when I was starting out in Photoshop I really was just using a simple mouse not even this mouse uh, I'm gonna show you guys the mouse I'm using okay so I was using this mouse that was bundled with this keyboard yeah so you don't really need fancy equipment I just bought this mouse for gaming and now I'm using it cuz oh ding dongs cuz cuz I broke this mouse now you know why this mouse broke cuz I just I just scatter and you know that's just what I do guys I break stuff anyways I hope you guys are learning more and more every day um, I'm going to try to post videos like three times a week now so Monday Wednesdays and Friday so please subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already I will see you guys on my wait I, have, I think I forgot to say something no I think I think I said everything I will see you guys on my next video flying peace <laughs>